Welcome back to Grizz Vision here with men's basketball coach Greg Campy. My name is Neil Rule in Cleveland. Golden Grizzlies fall to Cleveland State 80-64 to to open up Horizon League play. In camp, you and I talked about rebounding You know, in the preseason uh, all season long, and, and it showed itself here tonight. Cleveland State was dominant on the glass. Yeah, but um, <coughs> yeah. So we're not a great re <coughs> we're not a great rebounding team. We've been getting better at it because of effort, and we've got to for us to get rebounds. There's got to be great effort. We came out tonight and played one of the most lackadaisical, lackluster, lack of effort games that I've ever been a part of. And I have felt it when we got back from the Caribbean. I thought on Tuesday's practice, my boss asked me how the practice go, and I told him it was the worst practice we've had all year. And he kind of smiled and thought I was just mad. And I said, no. Nope. It was the worst practice we've had all year. And the next day was a little better. And I went off today on them at shoot around that there's, there's no emotion. They're just out here. There's no sound in the gym. There's no other than the ball bouncing. I don't hear anything. There's no laughter. There's no kidding around. And <laughs> we're about to <laughs> play the first league game of the season. And if you... I mean, we're all zero and zero. Just because we had a bad week in the Bahamas doesn't mean anything. We're zero and zero. And, you know, there's 11 teams zero and zero playing for the ring. And let's go. And we had nothing. Jumped off to a five to two lead, and we scored four points the next eight, nine minutes. And we actually defended pretty well through the first 15 minutes of the game, 17 minutes. But we kept turning it over and missing shots and can't get into our offense and forgetting plays. I said in the post game to the team, I go, how many plays tonight did we run that where we didn't know what we were doing? And Coach Covington from behind me says, everyone. <laughs> and he might be right. And now I know not having Blake, I had some guys in positions that they're maybe they weren't used to, but they're basic plays. I mean, this isn't math. This isn't... What do they say? Rocket science. Rocket science, right? It's a freaking basketball game with you go here, you cut here, you set this screen and get Trey the ball. And, I mean, it was awful. We ran a play, and one of the players didn't run it, and I called a timeout. Now, we're down 24, so it's not like it was going to change the game. And I went over the play, and we went out, and we ran it again, and a different guy didn't run it right. And, I, 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 and he's one of those guys is a starter. And has started every game. And it, it, it was just mind-boggling to me. Now, am I throwing players under the bus? No, you haven't heard me say anybody's name. It, is it anybody's fault? Yeah, it's the coach's fault. If a team doesn't play, I mean, everybody's praising Dan Campbell right now because they're getting their butts kicked, they're, you know, and he gets them to win three in a row you know, when they, they come every game and play. And my team just didn't come and play. So whose fault is that? That's Greg Campy's fault. It's not the players. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I got to fix it. We're on national TV in 40, less than 48 hours. And if we play with that kind of emotion and effort, the whole country is going to know we're a fraud. Okay, Cam. Thanks for the time. Anything else you want to know? I mean... You guys want to know the truth? There's the truth. You want to blame somebody? Blame me. That was awful. That was one of the worst college basketball games I've coached, and I've coached over 1,200. And I told them that. I mean, I'm sure that if I sit back now on the ride to Fort Wayne and think of, I can, I remember Earl Roberts beat us at home by 30 once, and I felt the same way. But I don't think I had a team that I have now. There's some really talented players sitting in that locker room. I, I just asked Rocket Rock, watch, you know, you, you averaged 18 points over a seven-game <clears> stretch in the Big Ten. You played in the SEC. You just went in the Horizon League, and, and I read the stats. Uh, 
Jalen Moore's a pretty good player. I don't care if he's hurt or not. He's a pretty good player. Trey Townsend might be one of the best four players in the league. Uh, no, not might be. He is. Keaton Harvey is a really, really good player. But you look at you look at the stat sheet tonight for Osei and for uh, Will Shepard and for Chris Conway, and you just look down the stat sheet for most everybody, and wow, you know. Now, can you have a night like that? Sure. Shouldn't be the opening game. We got nowhere to go but get better, though, right? Let's get in the bus and go to Fort Wayne. All right. <laughs>